This video will show you how to find Olive online, log in for the first time, change your password and profile settings in Olive. So go to the intranet page, which is olh.ie forward slash intranet, and click on the link which says Olive. This brings you to the main Olive page, which is powered by Moodle. If you don't want to go through the intranet, you can go directly to the page by simply typing in learning.olh.ie in any browser that is connected to the internet and you will be brought straight to the page. Here we can see the first page. You are not logged in yet, you have simply just gone to the Olive page. So click on the you are not logged in button and then you will be brought into the login page. Here type in your username and password. This information will be given to you by your manager, course trainer or the education technologist. The first time you log in, you will be prompted to change your password. The password must have at least eight characters, at least one digit, at least one lowercase letter and at least one uppercase letter. So input the password that was given to you and change it to a new password that fits within the above criteria. When finished, click the Save Changes button. Once you have changed your password, you will be brought into Olive. In the right hand corner, you will see information about how to change your profile. The first thing we're going to look at is your email. It is vital that you amend the email address on your profile. Your Our Lady's Hospice and Care Services work email or personal email address. Without a working email, you will be unable to receive notifications and will not be able to reset your password if you forget it. If you don't have an email address, I would highly recommend Gmail. You can go to www.gmail.com and set up a new one there. Other features on this page are, you can include a picture for your profile. This is a nice feature if you wish to. You can use a photo like you would on Facebook or an avatar such as this, like a doctor representing your role. Other settings then are maybe interests. One here that is maybe worth considering is putting in your department or putting in your phone number. Again, these are only optional cho choices and it's more for the user who wants to engage more with Olive. Another feature I'd like to show before we finish this video is the calendar. Within the calendar, you can put in dates and information as with any other type of digital calendar. To make a date entry, click on the calendar and input the information. For example, here I'm just putting in the start date of Olive. This again is not necessary, but is an extra feature that some users may wish to avail of. When you're finished, it's very important to log out as some of you will be using Olive on public computers here within Our Lady's Hospice and Care Services. To do this, click on your profile and at the bottom of the link you will see a logout option. This video shows you how to find Olive online, log in for the first time, change your password and edit your profile settings.